something doesn't make sense here. Why do faster ammo have a lower point of impact than a slower ammo and what you can do about it to fix it? We have four different targets shot with two different types of ammo. The top two targets were shot with a faster ammo and the bottom two targets were shot with a slower ammo. As you can see, the point of impact of the faster ammo is actually lower than the point of impact of the slower ammo. A rifle was calibrated at 50 yard, so you would expect that the faster ammo would have a higher point of impact than the slower ammo and not the other way around, unless the barrel was whiplashing. If you tap on the barrel, you can actually measure the barrel harmonic. In this particular case, this is an 18 and a half inch proof research carbon fiber barrel and you can see it resonates somewhere at about 370 hertz. Again, we're only interested in harmonics that's very close to the frequency where the ammo exits the crown of the barrel. In this particular case, I'm shooting a 22 LR, so I'm expecting the ammo to exit somewhere around 330 to 350 hertz ish or so, depending on your ammo. So this is what I did to change the harmonics of my barrel. I added five aluminum shaft collars, one limb saver, and in this particular plot without a barrel break. Here I shifted the harmonics of the barrel up a little bit to 377 hertz, and I added a few more harmonics down here. And again, we're only interested in harmonics close by where we think the ammo exits the crown of the barrel. And it in this particular instance, I'm shooting a 22 LR with an 18 and a half inch barrel. The exit time is somewhere between 300, uh, 330 to 340 hertz. So now my final configuration was actually six, uh, no, actually five aluminum shaft collars, one limb saver, and a barrel brake. Um, so by doing that, I added a bunch more of harmonics close by 330 hertz and 340 hertz. So now, if you plot all those harmonics and then you sum them together, the sum is this yellow trace here, and that shows you the new profile of the barrel whiplash. And here you can see um, the ammo exit somewhere around 2.8 to 3 milliseconds. And you take the slope of that, that tells you how much, how much variation the crown of the, the barrel uh, changes over time. If you take the slope of that, it's very low versus you know somewhere in this region where the slope is high. That tells you that, that the crown of the barrel changes a lot over time versus in this region. So by doing that, you know you can change the point of impact of the bullet. Uh, just by changing the harmonics of the barrel. And in this particular target result, um, this is really expected now. I aimed at this particular particular point and with the faster ammo, it, the point of impact is now higher than the slower ammo. And this is as expected. So this is before and after, you know, before the faster ammo the point of impact of the faster ammo is lower than the slower ammo. And now, after changing the harmonics of the barrel, it's reversed. So now the faster ammo, the point of, the point of impact of the faster ammo is higher than the slower ammo. That's it.